time for Wise Guys Wednesday. All right, U of I physics professor Paul Quiat is here now. Hey, We're Paul. We're continuing our lesson from last week, right? We are. We are. Actually, we're going to start with something totally different. <laughs> feedback. Positive feedback. Oh. Positive feedback. We're not that's, used to that. I'm not used to that. that sounds uh, like it'd be a good thing, right? Uh, what's but it, that? it can be a bad thing, though, oh. actually, usually, in science. Why? In science. So negative feedback. Yeah is actually a good thing in science. So if you're driving and you veer to the left a little, you want to correct by steering to the right. Mm -hmm. To the other way. Or if you yeah. have your thermo thermostat in your house and your temperature is a little higher than its set point, then you want to cool the house. And if okay. it's a little colder than the set point, you want to heat the house. So you want to have the effect going in the opposite direction and then it'll stabilize it cool. in the same way that with this, uh, this, this can here. Right. Uh, right now, gravity is pulling it back to be vertical. But if I go too far, then gravity actually tips Makes, it. Okay. Yeah, overcomes Makes the tipping sense. point and that's positive feedback. Okay. Yep. okay. So, last time we were talking about the greenhouse effect. Okay. And we said the thing that happens is that the sunlight comes in and heats up the earth. We could just show the first graphic, I suppose. Oh, yes, we could. We could indeed. No, that's the last oh, graphic. Man. Oh, oh man. Oh, skip ahead. Last graphic. Hide your eyes. Oh, go man. Away. We're going to spoil it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll uh, <laughs> hopefully we're, pull we're that up. On working on that. Okay, got our best okay so what happens case. is that as the sunlight comes in, it heats the earth, and then the earth radiates in the infrared, and then some of that infrared is reflected back onto the earth. Yes. Okay. So that effect is not as bad as it could be because of the albedo of the planet, oh. the albedo is not how much the, the Earth likes the other planets. Right. Instead, it is how much the Earth reflects oh. some of the light. So the more that it reflects the light, then the less of the sunlight that's absorbed by the Earth, and the better off we are. Okay. Okay. So the thing that affects whether the Earth is reflecting or not is whether or not the sunlight is hitting water or whether it's hitting snow or okay. ice. So we're going to do a little demonstration. I have I like here, demos. this is a, uh, a little power meter. We'll zoom in on it in just a second. Okay. And I have here, this is one copy of the Earth. The world in your hand, And really. another copy of the Earth here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a water-covered Earth. Okay. And I don't know how much of this I need to pour in. I guess one Hope of we can probably. swim. Great. And then I finally get to empty out my freezer. I've had snow in my freezer for the last... <laughs> oh, my god. For the last this month really and a half. You never know when you might need it. This is from this is outside really? in my backyard. It's okay. been in my freezer the whole time. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now Got this it. is the sun. Okay. And we can look at how much light is coming from the sun on our power meter, something mm -hmm. like that. Maybe something like half a watt, basically. Okay. And I'm going to look at how much is reflected from the Earth when it's covered with water. And we see it's quite a bit less. Yes. It's, it's less Point than 10. Yeah. More than a factor of 10 less. And now I'm going to see how much is reflected. Now I've got to move this. Oh. Well. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> now we look instead what's reflected from the snow, and we see that, in fact, it's a lot more. So there's almost 10 times as much light reflected from the snow as reflected from the water. Okay. Wow. Okay, so. So what does that mean? <laughs> so what that means, if, if we tie this back into our feedback system, our feedback thing, is that as the Earth gets a little bit warmer, more ice melts. As more ice melts, less of the sun's light is reflected. So okay. that means more of the sun's energy is absorbed, so that means the Earth heats more. So that means that more ice melts, which means that more of the sun's light is absorbed, which means that the ice melts more, right? So there's this positive mm -hmm. feedback that is, okay. it, you can get into a runaway system where all the ice melts because of that. Gotcha. So positive feedback, it's a bad thing. And this oh. is unfortunately not just a tabletop demonstration or a theoretical thing, but if we now go to uh, one of the plots, oh, the man. second to the last one, I guess we'll oh, see. Oh, geez. Yeah, that there one, exactly, go. right? <laughs> So this is a plot on the top of the Arctic uh, sea ice mm -hmm. uh, in 1984, I think it was. No, in 19... I can't quite read the, the plot there. Yes, in 1984 and then in 2012, and you see that it's a lot less in 2012. Yeah. yeah. And so that's bad. That's the ice melting. And yep. in fact, the last plot, the little spirally one, oh. um, this is a plot of the Sorry. volume of the sea ice. Let's hope we got we'll we got see. our team. There we go. There. Uh, it's by month, but you could just pick any color you want. Just mm -hmm. take the black on the inner one. Okay. That's the sea ice in September, the volume of the sea ice from the last 30 years. Huh. And you uh. see that it's spiraling in. In fact, at the very bottom, it says Arctic death spiral, because this is a measure of how much the ice is decreasing as a function of time over the last 30 it sounds years. Sounds so sad. Okay. It's sad. Yeah. And we will continue this story next week. That sounds okay. perfect. More of the sad, more of the, the sad, sad saga. More sad of the sad news. saga. The bad news of positive news. feedback. All right. Okay. Well, this was fun, Paul. Thanks All for right. bringing your snow yeah. in. We always Sorry. appreciate the demos. We can have a snowball fight. Now. Hey, man, if yeah. you want to. <laughs> Hopefully we won't see any more of this stuff until next Prepare week. yourself. Bye. All right. We're going to throw a snowball and um, we'll see you guys in a little bit, but still to come, people are actually trying to stop the violence in Champaign County. That's right. We're going to tell you how they're doing it as we keep an eye on CI.